Elsewhere in the diary, Charette commenting on all the Zionist initiated massacres in their region, writes, All this must bring about revulsion in the sense of justice and honesty in public opinion. It must make the state appear in the eyes of the world as a savage state that does not recognize the principles of justice as they have been established and accepted by contemporary society. Yes, Premier, we do see you as savages and rejectors of justice. Now, writes Charette, there will be a genuine impression that while we cry out over our isolation, the dangers to our security, we initiate aggression and reveal ourselves as being bloodthirsty and aspiring to perpetrate mass massacres. He's saying, how do we look to the world when we cry about our security while we perpetrate and initiate bloodbaths and mass massacres? You look like Zionists. This is a tactic they use to this day. Start the flame and pin the blame. Charette, in the very same day he gave these instructions to the embassies, realizes something later that day, and now so embarrassed, he writes, When I wrote these things, these instructions to the embassies, that they should condemn Egypt and not be on the defensive, I still didn't know how crushing is the evidence that was already published refuting our official version. The huge amounts of arms and explosives, the tactics of the attack, the blocking and mining of the roads, the precise coordination of the attack, who would be foolish enough to believe that such a complicated operation could develop from a casual and sudden attack on a Zionist army unit by an Egyptian unit? Who would be foolish enough to believe? Who indeed? If there was any doubt left at all, Charette writes in his diary, I have been meditating on the long chain of false incidents and hostilities we have invented and on the many clashes we have provoked which cost us so much blood and on the violations of the law by our men, all of which brought grave disasters and determined the whole course of events and contributed to the security crisis. What contributed to their security crisis? The long chain of false incidents and hostilities we have invented. Self-defense. The only self-defense they're entitled to is before Nuremberg Tribunal.